The next question is the mark sentence question. Here, you're asking your students to mark different categories in a sentence. Click on it and configure the question. My question is, mark all the animals and the adjectives in the text. First, click on the colored button, then click on the word you want to mark. This is how you configure the question. I'll show you later on how this looks like for your students because this might be something that they are not used to do. Switch to the rich text if you have a school license and then you can mark the animals here so it's clear for your students that they have to find the animals and the adjectives. What do they have to mark? Indicate the categories they have to mark in this window. So they have to mark all the animals animals and they have to mark all the adjectives adjectives Single. then you're going to add your text so in this text they have to mark the animals and they have to mark the adjectives just type your plain text i already did some things but i'll show you how you can configure it yourself so students have to mark the animals and they have to mark the adjectives. So here in your text you're going to indicate what, uh, what of these words are adjectives and what of these words are animals. How you're going to do this? First you have to indicate the words using these brackets. So we have to indicate, okay, squirrel is one of the things they have to indicate. So we're going to add these bra brackets around the squirrel because this is something they have to mark. Slender is an adjective, so we're going to mark this one as well. So this is something they have to indicate as well. Bushy, large, an adjective, and the rest I already did. You can see in the rest I already did something else as well and that I'm going to show you right away. So how does a computer know what is correct and what is incorrect? So of course th they could indicate any word here but the computer doesn't know if it's an adjective or an animal. So you have to indicate this using the category right here. So I'm just going to copy this category and I'm going to place it in front of the word they have to indicate. I'm going to place it in front and I'm going to use this double point. So this is really normal. So you really have to add it like this. So now the computer knows that these are squir squirrels, that this is an animal. And of course, this is an adjective like this. Again, this is an adjective. Adjective. You need to make sure that this word is exactly the same as your category. So it's really handy to copy it uh, because you need, if you're using a capital letter here, you have to use a capital letter here in the text as well. So you can see I already did this for all the other words. So soft is an adjective, silk is an adjective, here goose is an animal. Um, so I indicated it how it should be. Again, use brackets around the words students have to mark and then indicate it with the right category. I go down, I can add a rationale, a hint, audio, image. I can add numbering and the scoring options. Here, the scoring weight is one for each correct answer. So I have lots of things they have to mark. So I think this question is on a lot of points. Of course, you can use uh, 0 0.5 as well, or you can go even smaller. You could say 0 0.25 as well. Of course, I think this is better. Um, for the row, if they are marking, if your students are marking a, a, a word wrong, then you could deduct points. So you could say, okay, for a wrong word, it's minus um, 0 0.5 or 0. 25 um, and you could say how you want it to be. So let's say just 0 0.1 for a wrong answer. The minimum score is of course zero. So you cannot go below zero. You can also say that they don't get wrong points for wrong answers here. 
Then I go to preview to take a look at how this looks like for my students. So click on preview. And then you can see that these are the categories I marked, so the animal and the adjective. So what students have to do, and this is something you should explain to your students because this may, might be something new. So they have to click on what they want to indicate and what they want to mark. Um, so let's say we're starting with all the adjectives, then they click on the adjective and they start indicating all the words that, that are adjectives. If they want to start with animals, they just click on animal and they start to indicate those words. So just click on the squirrel and now it's marked in the same color as the animal, as the category you added. Rabbits, goose, goats, goats, sheep, and I think that's it. For the adjectives, then they just click on this one and then they can start marking all the adjectives. Slender body, bushy tails, large eyes, um, soft, silky, thicker, large, long. And if they make a mistake, so let's say small, furry, so long and short, fluffy tails, strong, large, thin legs, part of sharp incisors. So let's say they are indicating this one. So this is a word that is incorrect. So they um, will get one uh, point, one, 0 0.1 points less. Then we have um, lighter. No, that's a, that's a mistake. It's okay. Um, short tail, straighter hair. Okay. Um, if they think, okay, I indicated this one, but it's a mistake, or this one, but it's a mistake, I can still clear this as a student. Then I click on the clear button, I indicate this category, and I click again on the word I marked, and then the mark, um, it will be gone. Click on show answers to see how this looks like when it's automatically created for your students. And of course, when you ask your students to submit, you'll also see the automatic rating afterwards and you can send back um, feedback. Yes. Okay. So here you can see the error. So what is right and what is wrong. Here you can see the X because this was a wrong answer. Here again, you can also see the right and the, the right and the wrong answers. If you choose for your students to see the score uh, beside the question, this is something you configure in a general settings, and then they will see how many points they get on this question type.